today I thought I'd talk about first. So, what initially got me into pipe smoking was, uh, it's gotta sound ridiculous, but uh, that movie Juno, with the uh, young girl gets, uh, the teenage girl gets pregnant and uh, she's like a weird outcast, goofball type of uh, personality. Um, and in one scene, she was just like sitting alongside the curb with a pipe, not even smoking it. And I was like, man. Because I remember being like grade school and stuff, just like chewing on pins and stuff. And I was like, it'd be kind of interesting. Just have like a little pipe chew toy. Take it out once in a while just to freak out the squares. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. I don't know. And so the first pipe I ever got was uh, for Christmas. And if you ever had to buy a gift for me, um, you'll know that if I need something, I buy it. So when it comes time for holidays and uh, birthdays and stuff, there's nothing that you can really get me. Um, I pretty much have everything. So the pipe was just like, nah, hey, just give me a pipe type of thing. And it was, a, I think it was a Lucian uh, Walnut, uh, uh, like Sherlock Holmes looking pipe. And I still have it. It, uh, it was a filtered pipe. I don't smoke it too often anymore. Um, and then one day I was like, I'm gonna try pipe tobacco. I'm gonna see what that's like. And uh, first uh, pouch was, uh, Captain Black, white, original, big coffee. And, uh, yeah. And then bicycle touring. Didn't know anything about it. Didn't even know there was a thing called bicycle touring. Um, I had a uh, old army buddy that visited me for. <laughs> he spent like the whole summer at my house, and uh, he bought a bike, bought a mountain bike, a specialized mountain bike, not especially made or That's the brand specialized, and uh, we tar started talking about doing some uh, some uh, long distance riding um, and we were throwing back and forth places to go and we ended up going to uh, I live near Glacier Park and we went down to uh, Yellowstone and the bike that I bought I went to REI spur of the moment bought a Novara Safari touring bike it's kind of like a hybrid it's between a cross between like a it's a touring bike that's kind of like expedition style or more off-road style it has like a mountain bike frame to it um, looking back I, I should have went with the surly uh, long-haul trucker because they had that in stock as well surly is no longer sold at REI But the, that Navarro, that was a that was a great bike. Just didn't fit me quite right. I'm kind of my height in five nine can either go with a 16 inch or an 18 inch frame, and the 16 inch was a little small. Uh, 18 inch is much better for me. But with the Novara, once you move up to the 18 inch, you go with the 700 inch, 700 uh, wheels. And uh, I prefer riding, I like the 700s, but for uh, strength wise, 26. And that they're more readily available. Although some will say otherwise that the 700s are just as strong, but. I don't know, it just makes more sense that a smaller wheel would be stronger than a bigger one. So 
so we rode that we did that ride had eight days of vacation and we did it in seven and we took one rest day so it's about 500 some miles and we were doing when you're doing 80 miles a day it just becomes like a times trial type thing you really don't I mean that's all fun and fine but you're really missing out on a lot by just trying to focus on putting down the miles it's not really that enjoyable but because my buddy was on a uh, mountain bike it wasn't really made for uh, hauling loads he was breaking spokes and all kinds of having all kinds of trouble And then from there, just kind of both with pipe smoking and bicycle touring, just spent more and more time researching, finding out about the gear and stuff. A lot of it's gear oriented. And the best way to buy gear is by the Trying to find the value, uh, you know, going with uh, finding what's going to be strong but yet still cheap. Malaysia is crazy. Just uh, the different ethnic backgrounds and stuff. It's it's, uh, it's a very cool place to be, and it's not really that expensive. So that's all I got to really ramble about. Little video on first. Take her easy, and uh, next video will be probably coming from uh, that in town word, whatever the name.